Hi, my name is Cara and I design and sell sewing patterns under the label Dizzy Mister via Etsy. I'm delighted to be taking part in Etsy Australia's Make the Good Project in support of Plan International's Because I Am a Girl campaign. 50% of the funds from the purchase of this pattern will be donated and go towards programs that help promote the equal rights of all children, helping lift girls around the world and their entire communities out of poverty. I'm making a butterfly sleeve dress today. The sleeve can be a little bit tricky, so we're going to work through one together. This is the right side and I've interfaced within the dotted lines on the wrong side. These are our welts. This is the right side and again I've interfaced the entire piece on the wrong side and marked the pattern markings on there. We have our sleeve and our welts right side together, pattern piece marked, pinned down and matching notches at the top. All four lines are sewn and they all end at an equal point there. Now we're going to cut right down the middle but only through the welt. Leaving the sleeve piece intact. Flip your piece around. Now we're going to cut all the way to where, where the fork is in the pattern piece. So that goes through both layers, through the sleeve and the welt. Cut just through the welt to continue that cut all the way through but not touching the sleeve. So beneath that point the sleeve is uncut. Lift the welt out of the way and snip on an angle until you almost touch the last stitch. Repeat this on both sides. ready to iron. I start with the outside pieces. Flip them round so that the whole piece is turned and press in place. Repeat for the other side. Once that's pressed you can tuck the unfinished ends beneath the middle piece. is to press the center welts all the way around. I start just by pressing them flat and then turn them around tucking them in on the other side. Buckling or gathering like I am here you need to cut slightly closer to the last stitch. So go back and do that. Triangles of fabric that are still loose, they're called duck tails. They've just been tucked here when I've pressed. If yours are still out, tuck them in and we're going to sew them in place. When you turn it around, you can see a little triangle there and there. With right sides together now we're going to sew around three edges of our flounce. Trim around the edges. Set your machine to a slightly larger stitch because we're about to gather. I start at the top. I reverse at the top so it can't become loose there. And sew right down to the end. Now gather. This is when you get your sleeve back. Lift your welt out of the way and I like to pin it in place just to keep it there. And then pin your butterfly to those back welts that have been hidden behind the centre one. I pin at the bottom and I pin one side at the top to the welt there. If you've gathered too much just loosen it a little. And I pin the other side to the other welt. 
Make sure your gathers are even and that the line runs down the middle. Now I sew down one side. At the end I turn and I turn and go back down the other side. Now you want to make sure that you pick up that back welt when you're coming along. sewn down both sides and cut off any loose threads. The top of the butterfly wings need to be pinned and sewn to the sleeve. Stay within the seam allowance while you're sewing this together. together between the small dots. So put your long stitch back on again. Gather each side. The actual amount that you gather doesn't matter too much. You just want it to be enough to fit into the sleeve cap and you can always loosen it a bit later if you do too much. It's also difficult to gather along the top because of the thickness of fabric but it looks beautiful when it's just gathered enough to buff it up at the sides. Unpin my center welt, fold it over, and tack it to the top. Back onto a narrow stitch. Put it in half, right sides together. There is a little bit of bulk in the middle, but you should still easily be able to sew the seam. Sleeve lining, pretty simple. Fold in half, right sides together and sew as you did with the outer sleeve. Again, with the lining, you'll need to gather between the two dots. So do a gathering stitch with a long stitch within the seam allowance now. You've got your outer sleeve, which is right side out. You have your lining, which is right side in, and you feed the outer sleeve into the lining. At the sleeve opening to the wrist, this is a long sleeve we're working on at the moment, uh, but it's the same for the short sleeve. Line up your seams. They should fit perfectly within each other because they were cut from the same pattern piece. And then sew around. You need the finish the raw edges here with an overlocker or zigzag stitch or just trim them off. Okay so this is the short sleeve I've sewn around the wrist opening with right sides together and finished the raw edges there and before we turn it right side out we're going to sew some elastic around there. I just use a normal stitch and I pull the elastic so it is stretched while I'm sewing it. You can mark the elastic halfway and make sure you've just crossed the halfway mark um, if you're worried about the length. I'm just sewing it to the seam allowance. When you get back to the start, try and cross your elastic over itself just a little bit. Just turn the sleeve around. And you go on with the instructions as normal. You can choose to top stitch this edge, um, the arm opening, but it looks nice bubbled as well. And this is what the sleeve will look like if you've top stitched around the edge. We turn them right side out. Now, for now, keep the good side on the inside. Especially if you've got a sewing machine where the top stitch that you do looks a lot better than the, the bobbin stitch beneath. Because we're about to sew over the hem, top stitch it with the right side facing upwards there because the right side is within that sleeve. Let's go. Now we turn the whole sleeve in so you can see how good it looks 
We're nearly done with the actual sleeve. What you need to do now is gather in the lining. You've already done the stitch there until it's about the same size as your outer sleeve and stitch around. There you have your sleeve ready to set into the main part of the dress.